closer to the west because of wind being in excess of 30 to 40 miles per hour and some snow out to our west. As we show you the flag waving outside of our studios, winds continue to blow. In fact, we're looking at the current winds are showing you gusts of about 30 to 32 miles per hour already here in the area. This will be a very windy day today and a very windy day tomorrow. And Hold on to the hats. All right, Clay, thank you very much. A reminder, you can get the latest news and weather anytime with our NBC Washington app. Have a great Sunday, everybody. Seriously, my husband Wesley and I just watched President Biden's speech. And what I saw was the performance of a permanent politician. I'm not performing. I'm not. I'm not. That is Scarlett Johansson making a special guest appearance on last night's new episode of Saturday Night Live, playing Alabama Senator Katie Fritz, who gave the Republican response to the State of the Union address this week. Actor Josh Brolin hosted SNL last night with musical guest Ariana Grande. Last month, Casey Musgraves won her seventh Grammy Award, this one for her performance on the Zach Bryan hit, I Remember Everything, a song she recorded, she tells us, while battling strep throat. That win made Musgraves the first woman ever to take home a Grammy in all four country categories. But over the last decade or so, the 35-year-old Texas native has transcended country, while earning a reputation as one of the best songwriters in all of music. She made her latest album, Deeper Well, at New York's Electric Lady Studios, the musical home first of Jimi Hendrix, and then of just about every music legend you can think of. Casey and I got together the other day for a Sunday sit-down and a stroll through the studio's Greenwich Village neighborhood. Casey Musgraves finds inspiration on a walk in the park. Like 80s, 90s karaoke, yeah. tape machines, with like the spiral cord in my 
just always kind of singing, and then my family like noticed that I had it kind of been after that. So you were writing songs when you were like eight, nine years old? Nine, I think, was my first nine. one. And it's such a thirsty title, but it was called Notice Me. <laughs> I don't know, like, Notice Me. Yeah, it was a soft launch. <laughs> <laughs> Well, she was my original booking agent. She had such a big part in making things happen. With the whole family behind her, Casey took her show on the road, singing and yoga at festivals, fairs, and even the Today Show. <laughs> at 18, Musgraves auditioned for the TV music competition, Nashville Star. Drove me out of my mind. I'm halfway to Memphis. She finished seventh, but found a new home. Realized I need to be in Nashville. Yeah, I was actually like, I just need to be here. Those grindy four or five years before your first album. Right. Came out, what were those years like for you? I went like full tilt into summary. And I had so much fun doing that that I was like, forgive me, a performer. That is too public facing. And I would only want to do it if it felt totally right and I could really be me. Years passed, I write hundreds of songs. I noticed myself going, okay, I don't want to turn this song in for another artist. I think this one's for me. Long story short, I ended up signing the record deal. <laughs>
Hi everyone, meteorologist Clay Anderson. We were our thanks for experience a wind event today. Winds will be gusting in excess of 30, 35, 40 miles per hour across the entire viewing area. Winds are now gusting in excess of 20 to 25 miles per hour. And notice it's early in the morning. This wind advisory will be from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. this afternoon. So make sure you hold on to your hats as you go outside today. Everyone enjoy your Sunday today. Ahead on Sunday today, our highs and lows of the week, including the shopper who wanted to be first in line when a store opened and really got caught up in things when it did. We'll check in on it. But up next, our Sunday spotlight on a group effort of thousands of volunteers to document history at the Library of Congress. We'll explain on Sunday today. Come to break back. Right time.